Look at that dreadnought. Galarian forms are back! Oh my gosh, we got regional variants! Galarian wheezing? What, <laughs> what type is it? Poison Fairy? What? <laughs> Levitz. Alar Galarian Zigzagoon! Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> Look at it! Oh my gosh, look at Lenoon. It looks like. Oh, it looks so vicious. I want one. Wait, what? And he bolts again? What? Wait a minute! Obstacle. Hold up! Hold up! <laughs> hold up! Hold up! <laughs> They're bringing. We're, we're getting. Wait, does, it, does regular Zigzagoon and Lenoon evolve into this? Or is it just Galarian? Like. I'm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we got evolutions of older Pokemon too. Yes, yes. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this guy. He is, he is ready. Form changing Pokemon discovered in Galar. Wait, what's this? Is this the new Pika clone? More Pico. Full belly mode. Electric dark. Hunger switch. What? What is this? What? Hangry mode. <laughs> Wait, what did that say at the bottom? I didn't read it. Aura wheel move. Aura wheel move changes from electric to to dark type. Interesting. I'm guessing he looks like a, he looks like a, a a mixture of like of like um, Gengar and uh, what's their face um, the Dene compete with new rivals. Oh look at this smug guy, Bede, Bede. Oh we got a golf girl, Marnie. Team Yell, Marnie's wild fans. You know, someone actually, I, I forget where, I think it was like in some video comment section. They basically were saying that what if the evil team is just like, like uh, sports hecklers. This is literally what it is, they're hecklers. <laughs> I love how the, like, the evil teams have been just, they just fool around now. Instead of being like, hey, we're going to take over the world, guys. <laughs> but no, it's like, yeah, we're just here to cause trouble. <laughs> so yeah, we got hecklers. <laughs> What Pokemon she got? No, they did. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought they're gonna show another Pokemon. I'm gonna say, all right, what's next? Let's go to the Pokemon website and look at some of this information. You know, kind of do it like Poketuber style. So uh, let's see what we got down here. Okay, we're gonna look at the new Pokemon. We got regional variants back again. <laughs> and we got new characters and such. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's start with the new Pokemon. First up, Morpico. Some Pokemon can change their form often because of the effects of certain items or their own ability. Some of these form changes can't don't simply change the Pokemon's appearance, though. They also affect the types of moves or even change the ability. So we got Morpico, the two-sided Pokemon. Electric Dark, 6.6 .6 pounds, one foot tall, ability Hunger Switch. It's always hungry, no matter how much it eats. Morpico constantly generates electricity with the sacks in its teeth. Yes, it's the Pika clone, basically. This consumes energy, causing Morpico to be constantly hungry. This is why Morpico is always carrying around berry seeds. Okay. That doesn't really... Oh, the ability is down there. Let's... Its appearance change gets when it's hungry. When it experiences prolonged hunger, the balance of hormones and within Morpico's body changes. This often causes its fur to change and triggers more aggressive and vo vo volatile behavior. The energy stored up as chi sex also changes from electric type to dark type. Ooh. Scary boy. Morpico's ability, Hunger Switch, is a new ability introduced. This ability causes Morpico to change its appearance in each turn. In each turn? Interesting. Morpico's signature move, Aura Wheel, changes type depending on Morpico's form. In full belly mode, its move is electric type. 
in hangry mode, <laughs> hangry, I still have <laughs> it's called hangry, the move becomes dark type. Alright. Okay. <laughs> hangry. Alright, let's get over to, okay, I want to get to Obstagoon, but first let's get to Zigzagoon Galarian form. Galarian Zigzagoon, I can't believe they, I, I honestly thought they weren't going to do regional variants, but I'm so glad they did. Okay, we got tiny, we got dark normal Zigzagoon with pickup and gluttony. Okay, uh, isn't that usual? The free wheeling original species of Zigzagoon. The Zigzagoon in the Galar region move about however they like and never settle down. They're known to inhabit all areas of the region, including fields, forests, and even towns. There is some speculation that the zigzag movements of the Zigzagoon in other regions <laughs> stem from the restless nature of Galarian Zigzagoon, which is considered to be the oldest branch of the species. Interesting. <coughs> Galarian Zigzagoon enjoy battles and will charge at people with other people in an attempt to provoke a fight. This Pokemon usually succeeds in starting a battle with other Pokemon, but to humans tend to think Galarian Zigzagoon is just playing or showing affection. It seems to cause <laughs> Galarian Zigzagoon some frustration when people don't get angry enough, even though it's trying to provoke them. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. I'm not trying to be cute. <laughs> Alol Galarian, I, I keep saying Alolan. I need to get used to saying Galarian. Galarian Lanoon. Oh, la like, I love this design. It looks really cool. <laughs> he looks vicious. <laughs> Galarian Lanoon can reach speeds up to 60 miles an hour and can, de <laughs> can deliver devastating tackles and headbutts. These attacks happen to with destructive force to even knock a car away. But they can also throw Lanoon off balance if they miss. <laughs> it's popular among unhappy and angry youths. <laughs> Galarian Lanoon are rash and fearless and will recklessly pick fights even with opponents stronger than themselves. Their fearlessness and well tends to attack opponents head on. Make Galarian Lunoon popular along the disaffected use of the Galar region who have nowhere to direct their frustration and anger. This is literally the, the millennial Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to get to Obstagoon. We got a Gal we Not only did we get an evolution of an older Pokemon, but we got a, a branched evolution from a regional variant of the Pokemon. This is very interesting. Living in the unique environment of the Galar region, some Gal regional forms have developed unique evolutions unseen in any other region. Obstagoon, which evolves from Galarian Lanoon, is one example. Do you think we might be getting an evolution of, like, Galarian Weezing? That would be... That'd be lit. Or, like, let's say we get, like, a Galarian, um... Let's say we get a Galarian Farfetch'd, and then it evolves into whatever that... It'll happen. So the blocking Pokemon, Reckless and Guts. Evolution is spread on by a harsh environment. The Lanoon of the Gar Gala region live in harsh conditions compared to one found in other regions. With fierce competition against others of their species, their survival instincts have been honed as a result, leading to the evolution of Obstagon. It uses Obstruct before counterattacking. Hmm, what is this, a new move? Through Obstagon... Though Obstagoon is completely competitive, it seems that it won't often launch the first attack. It will taunt an opponent, guarding it into attacking. When it does, Obstagoon will cross his arms and meet the oncoming attack with his obstruct move. So it's it's like a counter move? Okay. But yeah, this Pokemon looks really sick. I kind of want to put this on my team. <laughs> Alright, then we get on to... Uh, did I miss anyone? Oh, yeah. Galarian Weezing. Look at this. He's got a big old chimney on his head. And, and they're top hats and he got mustaches. Oh my god. Amazing. Poison Gas. Poison Fairy. Levitate and a mystery ability. I wonder. Are they trying to hide something from us? Hmm. <laughs> it emits purified air from the tops of its heads. Galarian we Weezing consumes polluted air and poisonous gases for sus sustenance. The air and gases get absorbed and will have toxins removed before spewing out again from the tops of Weezing's heads. Apparently, the air produced is through this purification process is very clean. So basically, they made a clean Weezing. <coughs> Poison gas gathers around its mouth. 
The toxins accumulated within Weezing's body form a concentrated poison glass cause that leak out and drift from it. The gas is so potent that even a whiff is enough to stun and immobilize an opponent. It's Weezing's best weapon during battles. Alright, so that's all the Pokemon. So let's go over... Uh, how long is this video so far? Oh, we're 12 minutes in. Uh, let's try to be quick. We only got two more things to cover. Being Team Yell and the Rivals. Let's get to the Rivals first. <laughs> Alright, we got Bede. This guy. <laughs> Bede is one of your rivals who is skilled at Pokemon battles and has the, pri has, a, has the pride to match. He joined the gym challenge having received an endorsement from Rose. Alright, while he was clearly aiming to become champion, he seems to have other objectives as well. Look at this guy. This guy, look, look at this. Look at this guy's smug face. Look, look at this. And like, he says like he has a coat on. What is he, a, an Aether Foundation member? Mm -hmm. Alright, we don't have too much on him. Okay, that's, that's cool. What about Marnie? We get, okay, we already know. <laughs> Let me just say this right now. <laughs> the goth girl is going to be the crowd favorite. I'm just going to say that now. Like, there's no denying it. <laughs> I'm already liking this character. Marnie is one of your rivals who has a competitive side, together with her partner, Morpico. Oh, so that's her Pokemon partner. Okay. She aims to become the champion of the Galar region in order to accomplish a certain goal. She has many passionate fans thanks to her sense of style and calm, calculated battle strategies. Well, she got <laughs> they got their hecklers in the background. Now, what would be you know what would be really cool? What if like each you know each of the main characters that are participating in the gym challenge have their own like group of followers? And what if you could also have a group of followers, you know, like um, cheering you on and such? That would actually be really cool. Um, what well, nothing like nothing like a uh, nothing like hecklers like Team Yell, but maybe something like you know, uh, y you get what I'm saying. Like you have like people follow you. Like hey. I'm a fan of you. Can I, uh, can I join your fan club? <laughs> Team Yell is a group of troublemakers who appear whenever the gym challenge takes you, who attempt to get in your way at every opportunity. Look at this. <laughs> They're basically hecklers. <laughs> they want nothing more than for Marnie to become champion, and they try to obstruct all challengers in all sorts of ways. They will take over hotel lobbies, prevent other challengers from accessing transportation, and even shout and distract opponents during battle. Whenever Marnie battles, it seems those Team Yell grunts are quick to appear, showing his support with Marnie print towels and also horns. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and there's a point where you have to do a double battle with them with Hop. Okay, that's cool. You'll have to face them many times during your travels. They'll try to get in the way of gym, gym challengers. They'll show up out of nowhere to cheer Marnie on. <laughs> Marty seems to be able to get them to stop, though. So I, oh, so I bet how it is is that, you know, she probably, she probably appreciates the fans, but she also, like, gets pissed off at them for, like, being super rambunctious. <laughs> Man, th I, this is, this Pokemon game's looking to be really good, in my opinion. Besides the, uh, besides the national deck stuff, everything else in this game is looking amazing. And I'm very hyped for this game. But yeah, that was pretty much it uh, for this update. Um, <laughs> I really liked what I saw. I hope you guys did too. Um, <laughs> uh, I hope that, especially now we're in the home stretch, there's only three months left until the game releases. So I'm assuming that, you know, within these next three months, they're probably going to reveal more and more information, like they kind of did with Sun and Moon. Um, but anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, what do you? What was your favorite announcement for today? Um, mine obviously was uh, the Galarian forms. That was a big surprise. <laughs> Team Yell wasn't really much, and some of the characters on here um, were also leaked, but the Galarian forms weren't. So that's really interesting. Um, but anyways, this has been Grab the Ghost, and I'll see you guys in a future video. See ya.